G'day, welcome to my channel. I'm Creative Flair and this is the series where we take a little stroll down Ramsey Street and get to know Australia's most iconic neighbourhood in the fictional town of Erinsborough. On this tour, we're going right back to the mid 80s and Neighbours' humble beginnings. In the last two videos, we visited number 22 and number 24 Ramsey Street. Now we're off to visit number 26, the second of the three original houses on Ramsey Street. Let's knock on the door, shall we? Number 26 was closely associated with the Robinson family from the serial's beginning. Number 26 was occupied by Jim Robinson, his mother-in-law, Helen Daniels, and his four children, Paul, Julie, Scott, and Lucy Robinson, when Neighbours first began in 1985. As the children moved out, various relations stayed at the house, including Jim's long-lost son, Glenn Donnelly, and Jim's wife, Beverly Marshall's niece and nephew, Katie Landers and Todd Landers. Lodgers included Nick Page and Matt Robinson. After Jim's death, following a fatal heart attack in the kitchen, number 26 became home to Wayne Duncan and Julie's family, which included her husband Philip Martin, his children Debbie and Michael, and their only child together, Hannah. In 1997, Helen died in the living room of number 26. Philip's new partner, Ruth Wilkinson, and her two children, twins, Lance and Anne Wilkinson, moved in. The next family to move into number 26 was the Scully family, consisting of Joe, his wife, Lynn, and their three daughters, Stephanie, known as Steph, Felicity, known as Flick, and Michelle. The family hosted various friends and family members through their tenure, including Connor O'Neill, their son, Jack, and his girlfriend, Laurie Lee. The family expanded with the birth of Oscar. Following several departures, the Timmons family moved in with Lynn. The family was made up of Janelle Timmons and her children, Scott, known as Stingray, Dylan, Janae, and Bree. Janae was the only remaining Timmins by 2007 who stayed on with Ned Parker and his son, Mickey Gannon. Later, Ned's brother, Steve Parker, moved in with his wife, Miranda, and their children, Bridget and later Riley. Lou Carpenter also moved in with the family, along with Miranda's sister, Nicola West. When Bridget gave birth to India, her husband and India's father, Declan Napier, moved in followed by his mother, Rebecca Napier. After Bridget's death, the Parkers left Erinsborough and returned to Oakey. Steph Scully moved back in with her mother, Lynn, and they were joined by Steph's stepdaughter, Summer Hoyland. After a fire broke out at the end of 2010, number 26 became a share house with residents Kyle Canning, Jade Mitchell, Mark Brennan, Michelle Tran and Reese Lawson. Kyle's dog Bossy became an addition to the household for the next four years. Joining Kyle was his grandmother, Sheila Canning, who moved to Erinsborough and later purchased the house in 2015. Kyle's friends, Chris Pappas and Kate Ramsey moved in, followed by Sheila's daughter, Naomi Canning. Kyle's wife, Georgia Brooks, later joined the household. After Naomi's departure, Sheila invited Amy Williams and her son Jimmy to move in. In early 2016, Sheila's granddaughter Xanthi Canning moved in. Kyle left the street to reunite with Georgia before the amnesiac Jack Callahan moved into the spare room for a short while. Following his release from prison, Gary Canning moved in until his death in 2020, after which Kyle moved back in. Sheila adopted Gary the Pigeon, believing it was a reincarnation of her son, as well as Prue the Pigeon the following year. Kyle's cousin, Constable Levi Canning, moved in after he transferred to Erinsborough. Roxy Willis moved in after she and Kyle married. 
Three months later, Kyle and Roxy departed Erinsborough. Sheila left for Los Angeles to be with Naomi and decided to sell the house before Levi moved into number 28. Number 26 was then bought by the Rodwells, Andrew, Wendy and Sadie. However, they decided to move on a few months later. During the series finale, the Rodwells decided to stay put after all. That concludes this episode of my Neighbour series spanning nearly 40 years of drama. If you like this video and wish to see more of this type of content on my channel, please do the like and subscribe thing and hit the notification bell for future videos. Also, you can pop a comment down below let me know your favourite characters and storylines you wish for me to delve into. Until then, take care. I'm Creative Flair.